Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hub and I'm Penge and welcome back to Millennia, where last time we made a bit of an effort to work on our science and I think it went quite well. We've got scholarly societies now, we have research centres up and running and we have people pondering life, the universe and everything else whilst enjoying tea and cake in our tea house improvements, which is all very good and now we have to keep that momentum going with computers, our new national spirit of Silicon Valley, so we do need to get working on computers as soon as we can to really really keep our knowledge going and also we need to dress like this we need to dress super casually in the turtlenecks that's what we're all going to dress like now that's the new national dress code so there we go let's get time ticking on i think and also i think in a couple of turns we can use our culture power to have a bit of a peaceful revolution and pick what i think might be our final government as well so we'll see what happens with that but let's just keep time ticking on shall we and get this going i think yeah things oh Factions. During this age, you can reform to a more modern government. Okay, yep, that's the plan, just saying that. Adopting any government from this age makes you a member of a faction associated with the governmental style. All of the nations that adopt that same government will be members of the same faction. Nations in the same faction receive a diplomacy buff, while those of a different faction have a diplomacy penalty. After you've adopted a government, you can click on the area on the right label Factions to bring up the Faction Tracker. Okay, so previously our governments didn't really have any kind of bearing on our sort of global opinion. People didn't look at any other government to go, oh, I don't like that government. But now it seems that, yes, other government choices are going to matter. People are going to like us or not like us, depending on our government stuff. Okay, that's intriguing. We're not quite at that point just yet. We are one turn away, look, one turn. So, right, here we go. Ooh, news from abroad. Okay, Greece and Rome are now at war. I wonder if that'll end next turn. I suspect it might do, but let's go and find out, shall we? Let's nip to the next turn. Oh, hang on. What's that? Did Malmo just put down... Oh, I think Malmo might just put some um, some boats out into the sea. Well, well done, Malmo. I think it's pronounced Malmo. Well done, them. Ideology and faction standing. Okay, right. Joining a faction, which is what we will do momentarily, introduces a need for ideology to your regions. Certain buildings provide you with the ability to generate ideology. The ideology you generate contributes to your regional needs, the standing of your faction, and your standing within that faction. Oh, okay, so not only do we belong to a faction, but also we kind of have a reputation within that faction. Okay, the combined ideology generated by all members of your faction goes toward unlocking faction bonuses, which are shared by all member nations. Oh, crikey, right, there's a lot to this then. So a government leads to a faction... And then factions can give you additional bonuses. When your faction has generated more ideology than other factions, it becomes the world's leading faction and additional bonuses are gained. If you've contributed the most ideology to your faction, you're considered the leader of the faction and get faction leader bonuses. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. Right, so there's quite a lot going on. However... Let's use our culture power first, shall we? I think it's time for a peaceful revolution. Here we go. So away with Republic. We've done all that. That's all sorted. That is brilliant. Here we go. Let's have a peaceful revolution and we shall see what we can do. What governments have we got to choose from? So communist, democracy and fundamentalist. Okay, let's have a quick look through each of these just to see which one might be the best fit for us. Okay, there's quite a lot going on in the new government types. They're all quite different to each other. So very quick overview of each one. Communist governments are all about production and ideology, but they sacrifice luxury. So you can build lots of things very quickly, but your people might be a bit glum because they're lacking luxuries. Democratic governments are all about defences and efficiency and also improving knowledge. And fundamentalist governments are all about spreading your religion around the world. And if it does become dominant you get lots of fancy bonuses i think we will go down the democratic route given that we are trying to do lots of exciting researchy stuff i mean that there public archives bonus knowledge from research computers and computer simulation goods and given that we have got the silicon valley national spirit thing going on that would pair up quite well with that so that's going to be quite good generate knowledge there's a lot of knowledgey stuff going on so i think yes we will go down the route of democracy please so select that and there we go we are now a democratic nation and i think we need to do this so new leadership your nation grows stronger under new leadership unlocks executive office 
Okay, so what does that do? That's a new building, that's government XP and wealth, okie doke, and a faction headquarters. So that is, we can have one of those per nation, and it generates ideology, and also potentially knowledge and stuff, which is good. Um, and it also means, when we get this done, we can now get 400 uh, government XP, rather than being capped out at 300, and we can pick up more improvement points and specialist points as well. Okay, and we get all this stuff as well down here. We get all these extra bits and bobs down here, lots of extra culture and wealth and everything else, which is brilliant. So, I think, yes, we will pick that, please. And we do have 300 government XP sitting there. It's just sort of been sitting there for a long time, just not doing much else. So, do we want to spend it on something in here? I don't think we do. I think maybe let's get two of these done. I think, I mean, that's going to be good. Public archives is good. That's going to help out. It might not help out right now, but I think, yes, when we actually get computers and stuff in, that's going to be brilliant. So what have we got now? What's our current research? 64.3. So if we go from 64.3 and then we spend 150 of our XP there on public archives. So has that gone up any? 69.3. Okay, and that's before we even have computers up and running. So that was very good. And then National Guard. Attack and defense buff for all militia units. So if we build some militia units, they get more attack and defense. So can we train them up now? I don't know. Or do we go for congressional halls? Bonus XP, government XP from regional population. Um, yeah, okay. That's, that could be quite good. We'll go for that for now. We'll get the National Guard sort of thing set up. I don't know if we have militia. Is that a thing we can now we can now do? I'm not entirely sure. Also, what's that? We've got a point to spend. Is that because we took a new government type, possibly? Um, again, we will have insight, please. We will have insight, because that means our research is going to be a little bit quicker. So uh, it's currently 10 turns. Is this going to bring it down? No. But it probably did help a teeny tiny bit, though. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Look who's going to take us into the completely standard, ordinary age. The age of information. It's Greece again. Hang on a minute. We've got all these ages here. The age of visitors. The age of ecology, Greece. And we're going into the age of information. Just the standard age. Why can't we go into an exciting one over here? Or over here, look. Why can't we do the fancy things? Never mind. Oh, Greece. Oh, dear. Um. Okay, there we go. So we're now a democratic government, which is very good. So where is all the kind of ideology stuff? Whereabouts? Oh, hang on. News from abroad. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Rome and Greece aren't at war anymore. Oh, what a surprise. I assume one of them keeps trying to declare war and the other one uses their culture power thing to just like call a truce. I assume that's what's happening every time because that seems a little bit daft. Um. Okay. Yeah. So where is that? Ah, here we go. Factions. Is that what we're looking at here? So, ah, democratic. So, Greece, Rome, Brazil, and us are all democratic. Oh, that's quite good. I mean, look who's at the top. Of course, it's Greece. la di da big show-offs. Uh, yeah, we've only just joined, so we haven't had much chance to get any kind of ideology stuff going on. Um, okay, so what do, do we get anything from this? Do we get anything from this? All factions. Democracy. Four. Uh, where's Japan? Did Japan... Are Japan not... Are they not here yet? Are we ahead of Japan, possibly? Oh, that'd be quite good. That'd be quite fancy. So what do we get for that, then? Unlocks corporate R&D. Okay. So we get knowledge and exploration XP. Ooh. Okay, that's quite good. And then we get United We Stand, which is a government culture power. Spawn assault rifle units in each of your regions based on your number of allied nations. Oh, that could be quite good. And over here... We have unlocks the ability to spend wealth to rush research if it's mostly complete. Oh, that will be quite good because we are quite good at generating money. We are pretty good at that. Right. That's very interesting. Do we need to do anything with all these other XP points we've got going on? Got loads of XP piling up. Um, ah, yes. Also, religion is now no longer a thing because we picked our democratic government we didn't pick the fundamentalist one then um then yeah it's sort of not a thing anymore it's not i mean it is a thing of course it's still going on but it's not one of the important things over here now 
And we can't do anything religious here. Look, we can't pick religious celebration. We can't spread our religion because it's not really that much of an important thing anymore. We've sort of moved on from that a little bit, which I suppose is fair. Uh, right. So I think maybe, do you want to do anything with this? Uh, art XP. What about the diplomacy XP? Is it worth getting a merchant? Could we get a merchant and send that over to just there? I know the Japanese don't like us very much, though. We've got a merchant down here, though. I mean, could we run them in very quickly? Let's give that a go, shall we, for fun. So we'll get a merchant in. So hello, merchant. How are you? Can you... Yeah, look, you could run here. So leg it over here. Look, hello. Um, do they need to be adjacent? Do they need to be at a regional capital? Nah, but... Ah, here we go, look. Right, and now... We can sort of, yeah, turn that merchant into wealth. This is how you do trade routes in this game. So at the minute, 271 and now 276. So we get five money every turn from Perseopolis and Edo down here. I mean, could we do that again over here and get a little bit more money? Are we allowed to do that again, actually? We're allowed to do that? Diplomacy? Yes, we can. Um, yeah, okay. Get a merchant there and... Okay, yeah, put them there and go boop. Okay, a little bit more money coming in. Thank you very much. Okay, that's quite good then. That worked out okay. Um, anything else we can do with that? An envoy. Maybe. What if we try and have a chat with Japan? Are they, are they into that yet? I'm not entirely sure. Let's give that a go. So hello there, Japan. Can we have a chat with you? Open negotiations. Okay, we'll do that with Japan. So now, with Japan... Oh, no. Oh, why don't Brazil like us anymore? We have an alliance with Brazil, but they don't like us. Oh, dear. Yeah, Japan are hostile. Rome are hostile. Greece are hostile. Oh, dear. So, really... I mean, if Brazil fall out with us, then we are in trouble. But there we go. Um, so, Japan... Ah, here we go. Improve relations. Pay 30 diplomacy XP... 20 Japan diplomatic opinion to a Kabordia on Japan. Oh, let's do that. Got loads of diplomacy XP. So, yes. Okay, we'll do that. So, message sent. Okay, can we do that with Brazil to make them like us a bit more? So, yeah, okay. Improve relations again, please. Okay. That wasn't actually that bad. That went quite well. Right. Good. So, yeah, they like us a bit. Japan hate us slightly less. Uh, we can't do that with those guys, but we could potentially do that. They could go across the sea, couldn't they, and go and say, hello, is that worth doing? Do you know what? I think it might be, given that we haven't really had a proper chat with Greece or Rome yet. Let's sail across the sea and get some envoys set up and then go and have a nice natter with them. That's going to be fun. So we'll put you just there and uh, you just there. And then you can both sail across the ocean, hopefully. I'm sure you can get into a boat over here. And you can get into a boat there. And then next time, you can just sail. In fact, can you move now? No. Okay, you can't move now. Um, yeah, that'll be quite good. That'll be good. Um, right, we shall fortify you lot. That's fine. And yeah, over here. Yep, yep, yep. It's all fine. Oh, hang on. We can upgrade people, can we? Did I see? What can we do? Upgrade to the National Guard. Oh, Okay, Warfare XP. We're not using that for much. So, how about do that? So, there we go. Oh, look. Have we got people with actual guns now? Ooh, okay. Right, got people with guns. Again, I, we do need to do our military at some point. Can we upgrade any of these? Um, upgrade to Assault Rifle. Is that the Musket Man? Ah, right. The Musket Man can go to an Assault Rifle. Okay, I feel like we have a proper unit at last. Um, quite a few people in the comments say get rid of your Damascus steel, or whatever they are, Damascus sword, because they're rubbish now. Because, of course, we've got Chappie here with an assault rifle, and you, in the year 1870, have got a sword. So it's not really going to work. However, we could potentially promote them. We could promote them. We haven't done that yet, really. We've not promoted people very well. So we could go to, say, you... And then can we promote them? So promote them to a leader. Leaders buff their army with their tactics stat. Now, I don't exactly know whether that's going to be good or not. Have they got good tactics? I have no idea. But rather than just getting rid of them, we could turn them into a leader. Let's do that. That might be fun. So there you go. You've now become a bold new leader. There we go. We have our first Cabordian leader. And um, it does look a little bit like they're wearing a suit of armour. 
rather than you know, military fatigue is what I'm But okie dokie. Uh, War for XP, we're on 91. Uh, okay. So I think we can do one of you lot. Oh, no, we can do two. Okay, we can do two of them. Right. And that's kind of it, I think. So we're going to have to save that up and then keep upgrading our sort of standing military, if you like, the guys who are defending. But that's okay. That's fine. We can do that. Um, I mean, is it worth now spawning an artist then? We could spawn an artist and then rush culture and then use that to do Eureka to get our research done quicker. Given that Greece are going into the next age and we need to get four of these done before we do. I thought we were catching up at one point, but clearly we weren't. So um, yeah, let's spawn an artist over in uh, Springfield. There can be the great Springfield artist. And um, yeah, can we do that? 262.86 culture. Um, what do we need to do a thing? It's just a free culture power. Yeah, okay, do that then. So boop, culture power is ready. And then I think, yeah, do, let's just do the Eureka. Let's get it in. 230 knowledge. Uh, yeah, okay, it'll take it down from 10 turns to something less, which is always a good thing. So 10 turns down to five halved the time of research knowledge there for computing wow okay that's that's really good that's very very handy um right everybody just sort of fortify or whatever you want to do stay still guard what you've got to do um engineering xp will keep so we can get more things in here because that seems quite handy um uh, exploration xp ah hang on we can get some of these done um how about we do this. The Great Library also generates XP for all domains. So the Great Library will do all of that, I think. Where is the Great Library? Is it in Northampton? I'm fairly sure it's in Northampton, isn't it? Uh, is the Great Library in Northampton? I'm pretty certain it is. Uh, can we spot it anywhere? Great Library, where might you be? Ah, there it is. Yes, and Northampton does have the Great Library. So if we were to unlock that, that means we're just going to get plus one to all of our XP, which obviously means that we can get more fancy things a bit quicker. So yes, we shall have that. Thank you very much. Also, legacy. Social fabric points from the scholar's legacy. We've got three scholarly societies, so we can get that done. The only thing is, does it stop us having that? I don't think it does. People did say in the comments on previous videos that because it's a legacy thing, you can still go back and pick that up. But it gives us another insight point. So research is done a little bit quicker and one point of expiration XP, which is always quite handy. So yeah, we'll do that. That's all of one point. So 150 points and then scholars will be completed. And then we can keep spending the points on scientific process to get lots of free sciency points on the go. Right. There we go. That seems like a little bit of a plan. Um, also, improvement points. What else can we do to help us be you know, better at stuff and things? I mean, all the boats need improving, but the boats, I think, when you upgrade them, do require power. Steam trawlers are powered. I mean, it's very good. It's very good. But if we did that around here, look, that would require four lots of power. How are you doing for Power Kazan, for example? You're working on a scholarly society. That's very good. Um, I don't know how much power you've 175. Seven out of four, it says. So if we upgraded that, we'll do one. Look, so boop. There we go. It's now on ah, seven. Ah, no. Seven is our maximum. And five is what we've got. Okay. So we get two more things. And they'd be on 100% power. Right. Okay. That seems fine. Um, Bristol has got quite a bit of spare power. So maybe upgrade one boaty thing there. Just help out with food. Maybe Liverpool. Liverpool hasn't got that much spare power. So we won't do that. And Northampton over here. Let's upgrade a boaty thing. And we'll upgrade that farm as well for a power drain thing. But that's fine. Okay. I think that will do for now. That will do. Right, let's go to the next turn. Let's see what happens. Are Greece in the next age yet? Probably. Who knows? <laughs> Stop taking us into the normal ages, Greece. Take us into the fancy, exciting ones. That's what we're here to see. Um, okay, right. So now you two, the envoys, you need to sail over here. Don't get killed by barbarians, please. Just run away from them if you have to. Uh, we could potentially take a boat with them. 
We could take that boat down. Do you know what? Let's take that boat with them, shall we? If they could all join together, that would be useful, actually. Ah, an idle region, Northampton. Right. We now have quite a lot of options. We've got many choices. Uh, we can... We can get a proper boat. We can get a submarine. Okay, this is brilliant. Why can't we get a machine gun? Requires military base. Okay, I assume we can build one of those now, can we? Can we build a military base? Um, no. Oh, there. Upgrade to military base. Unlocked by militarization. Well, of course it is. Maybe we should possibly go and get that. Um, a few people did say, get a recon balloon engineer so you can float about and look at the entire map. Because apparently they float around and you can just sort of see everything. So maybe for a couple of turns, we'll get one of those. And then, again, if we are thinking of science and stuff, what does a turret do, though? What does a turret do? Capital attack, more border vision. I'm not so bothered. It doesn't provide more exploration XP. Um, the Grand Theatre is art XP. Tower Crane is more improvement points. That's going to be more food. But Northampton's good for food. Do you know, yeah, the Academy of Science. Let's do that, sure. They don't provide science, they provide specialists. We're okay for specialists then. Um, Civil Defence Centre is Warfare XP. That's the stone walls being upgraded. I mean, that could be quite useful in terms of upgrading all of our troops using this sort of upgrade option. Telegraph office, remind me what that was. That was power drain, but culture. Faction headquarters. Ah, we do want to get one of those in. So ideology. Do you know what? Yes. Cue that up, Northampton, please. There we go. You build a little balloony boy and then get a faction headquarters up and running. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Okay, Kazan's finished work on the scholarly society. I think maybe let's get Kazan some more power, shall we? So central power... That's going to take 27 turns, but we could potentially come back and rush that in about half that time. I think maybe that's what we do for Kazan, and then that'll sort out Kazan's power for a good long time. We could upgrade those boats over there. That'd be quite good. Um, I don't know why we haven't got though. I know there's no boats on those. Oh, that will be why they're not upgraded, because there aren't any boats. We also do need something to provide a bit of housing down here in Kazan. It's currently not looking very good in terms of housing. The only thing is, we don't really have anything to sort of build on. We've got nowhere to really build on. Unless we get rid of that house and we put down a mansion. Where are the mansions? The mansion is a power drain, but 25 housing. So over that, over 12. So we could get rid of that and that would provide quite a bit of housing. And Kazan does have a power point spare. Okay, let's do that. So get rid of that. Let's get rid of the house. Kazan's housing now 11, which is awful. But do not worry, Kazan. For now, you have a mansion and 143% housing, which is not as much as I thought it might be. But okay. Um, what else can we do down here to help with that? We might have to do something else. I'm not really sure what we can do about that. But there you go, Kazan. That sort of helped out. Thinking about that, actually, is that worth doing the same thing you know, over in Bristol or whatever? Where is, say a housing thing over here. Yeah, there's just a house. So if we get rid of that in Bristol, so that can go away, housing on 52%, build us a mansion over there, 143%. Okay, that's a bit better. And maybe again there, do the same again for Bristol. So yeah, get rid of that, absolutely. We get a tiny bit back, which is yep, yeah, sort of all right. And another mansion going down there. Right, Bristol's housing, 191%. Northampton's housing is okay. Liverpool's housing is okay. Liverpool's food is looking a little bit, little bit dicey. Um, okay. We'll have to look at that at some other point. But yeah, I think for now it's sort of okay. Unless we are gathering quite a bit from the sea with Liverpool there. Um, okay. I mean, maybe we could buff that. That will get Liverpool. Or the Liverpool is, no, it's going to be lacking power then. We don't want to do that. No. Okay. For now, that seems to have gone quite well. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's just uh, let's get time moving on. We do have our um, units in the water now with the boat. The envoys are heading out toward Greece and Rome to go and say a formal hello. OK, Japan are threatening us. Do not anger us further. We are watching you and will respond with force. What have we done? We haven't done anything to you, Japan. Why are you so grumpy all the time? 
do you need some tea? I suspect maybe you should have some tea. Uh, and now we have two idle regions. Okay, so Liverpool now has a gigantic pile of power. It can provide 19, it's using 8, which is very good. So what can we have in here? I mean, maybe, maybe Liverpool could get our first executive office for government XP and a bit of wealth. That'd be okay. Yeah, we'll have that over there then, please. And then I kind of feel like we should do the kind of defensive upgrade. So get a turret, because why not? That'll do. And then Bristol can possibly... What can Bristol... Ah, Research Institute is done. So now you can get central power and then also get the turret upgrade. Just because if Japan are going to attack us, then we might as well at least have some sort of shooty things that can defend. Um, Northampton... You are working on... Ah, yeah, the faction thingamabob. Um, could you... Oh, we've got the balloon done. Can you also, after that, get that turret upgrade done? Um, okay, where's our balloon? How do we use the balloon? We've built a balloon. Oh, it's here, look. It's here. Okay, so now, can we fly the balloon around? Like, if we went put the balloon over here, look, what can we see? So we'll fly the balloon around over there. And just see what happens. Okay, we've now got a little balloon poodling about. We'll try and get it maybe over here, look. And see what happens over there. Can we... I mean, what's its visibility like? I don't really know. But if we could fly it around and have a little nosy about, that would be quite lovely. Uh, where are we going to find a spot where we can get both very easily... Oh, hang on a minute. We can't... Can the envoys go into their territory? I think the envoys can. Our boat isn't going to be able to. Yeah, if we put them here, look. Uh, drop them off here. So one can go in that direction. One can go down here. Okay, we'll do that for now then, please. Right. Boat. Can we see what the visibility is like? Um, No. I can't quite see what the visibility is. But okay, we'll fly it over here, look. Um... Okay, I thought maybe it would have more visibility than that, but right you are. We're going to fly through this bit over here and just see if that does anything. It might not do anything. Ooh, we have an upgrade option there. What's that? Hang on, let's go and look at that for a second. When we come back, what can that be upgraded to? What is that? That is a lab, oh, that could be upgraded for additional power, uh, power drain to a computer lab. It converts computers... To computer simulations. Oh yeah, we do need to get computers on the go. I start this video by saying, ah yes, we have to make sure we get computers on the go. And then we've not done that. Um, okay, so do we, how do we make computers? How do we do that? So computer lab turns computers, five knowledge, to computer simulations, seven knowledge and exploration XP. But we don't have any computers. So do we have some sort of computer factory type thing? to turn the sort of you know, precious earth metals we have, or whatever it is, there, yes, computer factory. So two power drain converts one rare earth metal to one computers. Okay, that's what we want. So Northampton can now get us some computers. Okay, right, we've got a computer factory. There we go, the computer factory of Portland. Okay, wonderful. Right, so now Northampton has computers oh yes look at how modern they are and we can either turn them into uh oh these don't have kind of rollover things they can turn into i assume that's a computer simulation and that's uh, well, i mean storage i can i mean it's a, a ye oldy floppy disk it's the save icon everybody but um i think we will do computer simulations to get even more out of it so 75.7 currently if we upgrade the computer lab, that means we get even more knowledge out of it. It went down to 74.7. <laughs> Hooray for the power of computers. Okay. So we converted our computer to simulations and it didn't do much. Okay, right. Never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, right. You come over here, look. Uh, yeah, so pop over to there. And... Okay, we couldn't see much over there. That's fine. Right, you come all the way down here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got computing. To oh, that's... Ah, that's why that appeared. And that's why the computer factory appeared. Oh, there we go. That was appropriate. Right, so we've got all sorts of extra things that we can now have. What's that? An office. Converts computers to data for information. Information is a regional need. 
once more advanced tech comes into use, there's a growing demand for information to support almost any effort. One information is needed for every population over 30. Oh, crikey. It's okay. So now we're going to have, well, not yet we're not, because we're not in the next stage, but we're going to have an information need as well. Oh, crikey. It's okay. Um, what did we need? Here we go. I think rail might be useful. I know we're going backwards with this, but it's fine. So if we get rail, that means we can build ourselves container yards, which means we can have more domestic export slots so we can domestically export the precious metals or whatever it was to cities that can actually use them. Because I don't think Bristol has anywhere to build a computer factory. So I don't think it can do much with the metals it's got. So I think, yes, we'll get rail done first uh, and then we gain innovation as well, which is always quite fun. So there we go. That's what we're going to try and do. Um, let's just see what the XP looks like when we come back next time. It's taking a little while to work its way through all of the things now. I'm sure it's fine. There we go. Come on. Give the barbarians there go. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I wonder who it could be, everybody. Oh, it's Greece. Would you believe it? Wow. Shocking stuff. Okay. The age of information. The first nation to build the internet backbone building receives a wealth bonus. Regions now need information. The final age approaches. Consider what victories lay ahead. Now that is a good point. That's uncharted territory for me because I've not got to the end of a game with this. Well, I don't know what kind of victory conditions there are. I just don't know. We will find out together. It should be an exciting journey into the nonsense. Right, so continue that. Um, our balloon can now seemingly only fly one square. Deploy balloon is not... Pa oh! Oh, I see. Right. So it gets deployed. So it goes up into the sky, does it? So it's, hang on, we're gonna we're gonna press it. We're gonna deploy the balloon. I see. Right. So it's now gone up into the sky, so we can see this area here. Right. Okay. That is quite useful to know. Uh, right. Envoys. Um, you guys come over here. Look. And ah, you're near to a thing, which is quite handy. So you go to there. Uh, you can't do your movement. Yeah, you're sort of uh, envoying right now. But there we go. Never mind. And you can come over here, look, and you can pop to just there. And then next turn, you can go and have a chat with people. We could upgrade that to a destroyer using some exploration XP, but I do want to get that finished. I want to get scholars done and then we'll upgrade things with exploration XP. So right for now, make your way back home, please. Make your way back home and then possibly at some point, yes, you can be upgraded to a big, exciting, sort of proper fighty boat. But, um, oh. Oh. Okay. Greece just killed our person. Right. Not open for talking then, Greece. <laughs> Greece, really? Come on now. Uh, okay, we shall open negotiations with Rome because they were less murdery. Um, that That's made me a bit sad there. Um, okay, so Rome, Rome is sort of okay with us in a way. They're sort of okay. Japan don't like us very much. Is that because we're all part of the same faction thing now? Um, apart from Japan, I don't, I don't know what are Japan. Can we figure out what government type they are? They are, uh, what's that crown thing? What's that? A feudal monarchy. Japan haven't gone into the next age yet, which is quite surprising. Okay, uh, right. Hello, Rome. How are you? Could we improve relations with you, Rome? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There we go. Lovely. And maybe even, can we do that again with Japan? Uh, I think we can. Yeah, I think we can do it with everybody. Brazil, can we improve relations with you guys? It's, again, 30 of our XP. And Greece. We can't do that, of course. Can we restore neutrality with Greece? Because they're sort of... They don't hate us anymore. They're hostile, but their opinion is 30. So maybe, can we restore neutrality, please, Greece? Can we be friends again? Can we just, you know, instead of fighting, can we do hugging, please? That would be better, wouldn't it? Right, get you back up here. News from abroad. Brazil and Rome have formed an alliance. Okay. So the two nations at the bottom of the world there are now buddies. Okay. Greece and Rome are now at war. Oh, which means Brazil is now at war with Greece. Okay, news from what? Brazil and Greece are now at war. <laughs> right. Okay. There is some war happening. However, we've got enough uh, government XP to get a new one of these. So let's just unlock that one. 
Let's get congressional halls done, shall we? 150 points. Um, I mean, we've got a few people dressing like this, I'd like to think. A few kind of governmenty types. But really, we're all dressed like this still because we like that. Uh, right, okay. So machine learning. Uh, oh, look at that. Plus one computers produced from a computer factory. That right now might be quite useful. Get more computers from computer factories. So yeah, okay, do that please. And then come back and get this one later. But yeah, we'll have that now, please. So now we should have an excess of computers over in Northampton and Liverpool. You should also have your precious metal or whatever it is. That's books. It's that there, isn't it? Rare earth metal. Okay, so if we now go down here, ah, it's 76 specialists. Bother. Okay, we're a little way off that right now, but never mind. Okay, we do need to get some ideology on the go as well. We do need some ideology stuff happening. Okay, there's plenty to do, plenty to do. But, um, okay, couple... Oh, no, next turn, rail. Right, next turn's going to be interesting. So we can get rail done, and then we can start building rail yards, and then we can maybe move a few more local goods around to places that need a bit of extra stuff. So we'll try and get that sorted as well. But uh, yeah, let's get the research done first, shall we? There are some barbarians. Greece have told us to clear off. Um, although we are determined to, conti uh, to continue our efforts to mitigate the differences between our two nations, we have not yet reached that stage. Okay, fine. Be like that then. Be like that. Um, I swear, ah, some barbarians over there, look. Strayed into our territory and our boat is down here. So they might cause a little bit of a problem. And here we go. Rail is done. Brilliant. Uh, right, back we go to this one. Unless we get militarization, which would then allow us to build, like, shooty guns and things. Proper guns. But then we need to get some of these done as well. Uh, I mean, energy. We we're thinking about, yeah, could we have wind farms? And can we put them in the sea is the question. Because, yeah, offshore wind farms and things. But, yeah, just a wind farm, it just says improvement. So it doesn't say whether it's on land or on the sea. But that would be quite good, wouldn't it? That would be pretty good. And a recycling centre for sanitation. Oh, that could be quite good. Logistics. We've got airports for wealth. What does that do? That's a shopping mall. That's foreign import slots, diplomacy XP, culture. The armies can get bigger for some reason. Oh, I suppose because yeah, you can logistically control a bigger army. Um, car manufacture. You can airlift people. Heavy machinery. Oh, there's so many jazzy, exciting things. Marinas. Oh, is that what our kind of docks upgrade to? Oh, that sounds really good as well. Oh, we can build the Enterprise. Okay, we'll have a spaceship. Oh, it doesn't mean that. Um... A bank for monies, power drain, that's telephone exchange for culture, a school district, that gives ideology. That could be quite useful, couldn't it? Do you know what? We'll get that done as well. It's only seven turns. It's seven turns for that. Uh, right, end this turn. So get that done. This is good. And then we'll try and use our Eureka thing next time because I think our culture power is coming up. So we'll use that to speed up the research of whatever it was, Enterprise, whatever it was that we just did. Yeah, so there we go. Right, first things first, though. Let's deal with the pesky barbars. Hello, barbars. Look, we actually get to have a bit of a fight. Not seen a fight for the Battle of Bristol. Okay, I suspect maybe you are done for. Chap in a, chap in a canoe. Right, oh, what a surprise. <laughs> and culture power, do a Eureka. So six turns, comes down to three. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. And scholars... Get this done. Unlocks a translator to convert foreign manuscripts uh, into books. Yeah, okay, that's fine. But I don't think we have much in the way of foreign manuscripts. News from abroad. Greece and Brazil have ended their war. Well, who would have thought it, eh? <laughs> a war lasting one single turn. That never happens apart from all the time. Uh, right, okay, Northampton. What do we build over here? Oh, I think it has to be a container yard because that not only gives us the additional domestic export slots, so we can move goods around a bit. But also, for one power drain, it'll give us an extra 16 production per turn. Which means we can get all these things done here a little bit quicker. Yes, please. We will have one of those. And then everything else sort of looks okay. Apart from, yeah, sanitation is looking a little bit wibbly. Um, can any of these provide education? 
Does any of this give us any education stuff? Uh, oh, the temple requires a religion. We don't have that anymore. Radio. Oh, radio station is ideology. Yeah, okay, so maybe we can get Radio Northampton on the go now. Oh, brilliant. There we go. We shall get Radio Northampton on the airwaves at some point soonish. Okay, we finished researching Enterprise, which is very good. That's another tech out the way from Age of Rocketry. So, you know, we're a little bit behind Greece, as we have been for a long time, but we're trying our hardest to go and catch up. I think now it's got to be energy. Let's get the wind farm in, and also recycling centres do seem like very handy things. So there we go, we shall look into lovely energy sources. And over here in Liverpool, I think maybe now we have enough points to get ourselves a computer factory on the go. So put that over there for Liverpool. So now Liverpool is generating computers, and we have two computers, which is brilliant. Okay, the only thing is, Liverpool now doesn't really have anywhere where it can put a, what was it, another thing? What was it, a computer uh, lab? Unless, hang on, there's a little space there. Exploration, uh, claim territory, 63. Okay, we need 63 exploration points. We should get that next turn. I think we use that on that tile there, unless Japan nab it first, which would be a little bit unfortunate. And then we put the computer lab on there. So they make the computers here and they ship them over there. I think that's what we do. That seems like a good idea. Right, okay. Um, we're one point off. Now botherations. <laughs> okay, I thought we had that covered, but clearly we did not. Um, okay, region idle. Liverpool is idle. Um, Liverpool, yeah, container yard. Because that just is amazing and does many exciting things. Right, so go to the next turn, get to whatever it is, Exploration XP, and get that tile, hopefully. Hands off Japan. Okay, Japan do not have that tile yet, which is amazing. So we shall claim that for us. Thank you very much. Hello, Japan. And then over here, we will build, oh, eventually, we will build a computer lab. We can't do it right now. But we will do over time because, yeah, we've got two lots of computers now over there. So we might as well do something with them, I suppose. Um, Northampton could potentially... We've got one lot of computers and then we've got the computer simulations, which is good. But then maybe what if we get another computer lab set up? So eventually Bristol could domestically export it's rare earth metals over to Northampton. Northampton could make more computers and then export them back to Bristol. Is is that what we want to do? It's going to get complicated, this, isn't it? It's going to get very complicated. Um, okay, for now, let's end our turn. I think really the big thing is going to be the rush toward that. So let's get the energy research done and we'll just you know keep places building stuff. We'll you know, keep things ticking over and such like. But, uh, but yeah, for now, let's just get through to energy research. Let's get that unlocked. Okay, we have enough government XP to go and pick up another democratic power thingamajig. We have all the basic ones out of the way. So now we're onto the slightly fancier ones and they do cost a bit more, which means of course that they must be better because if something costs more, it's obviously better that's how that works isn't it pretty sure that's how that works in life so town hall that's a government domain power so it would cost some government xp to actually use this boost regional ideology efficiency okay that sounds sort of handy office of science oh here we go what does that do plus 20 percent regional knowledge efficiency from an executive office that sounds quite good that sounds very handy if we're trying to catch up with Greece in terms of science, that does seem pretty good. And then patriotism, additional militia in all capitals, plus one militia defenders at each capital city. Oh, the militia aren't units we train, are they? No. Okay, no, I thought they were like a unit that we trained when we unlocked that, but no, the militia are just the troops that also fight if cities are being attacked. They kind of pop up and they're in the cities. They're kind of like your home guard type thing. Okay, okay, I think for now we go for this. So let's get that done. So Office of Science, please. So now, do we have to build an executive office somewhere? How does that work exactly? Let's go and check in Northampton, because I imagine Northampton generates quite a lot of science-y stuff. 31 knowledge comes from Northampton. Do we have some sort of executive office there? Executive office, is that what that was? Office of Science buff. Oh, oh it's wherever we build one of those. We also get plus 20% regional knowledge efficiency. 
Oh, we want one of those everywhere. We want them everywhere, please. Yeah, build that next. Build that next to get lots of lovely, lovely research going on. Everywhere needs to build one of those. Um, yeah, build one of those, please. Uh, yeah, do that, please. You've got central power. Oh, central power's done. Then turret, then that thing. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Central power. Oh, that was Kazan. 3,000 money. How much do we have? 8,000. Okay, Kazan, we're going to rush your power thing. Aren't we nice? And then we will potentially... Can we rush up that as well? Yeah, 4,000 money. Got 5,600. Okay, so rush your container yard. Current production, 23. Up to 39. I mean, that's a bit bonkers. That's completely brilliant. And then get us executive office. It's still 17 turns. Still 17 after we've boosted it with those things. But okay, so um, yeah, do that, please. Because that's going to be quite useful. So yeah, you get that done. Um, and once you've done that, Liverpool, uh, you can then also build... I think you already have it. Maybe Liverpool already has that thing. Um, hang on, can we see it? I scroll down, don't we? Where? What was it again? It was it was an exciting thing that I forgot. There we go, executive office. It already has one. Okay, well done, Liverpool. Um, so after that, you can get us maybe a tiny bit more money, actually. Three turns to get an investment bank on the go. That seems like quite a good idea as well. Oh, we can upgrade our Northampton school here to a school district. So as well as giving more education, it also gives a little bit of ideology, which would be quite handy. So yeah, we'll get one of those, please, because we have the points to do so. So there we go. Uh, Northampton lacking a little bit of sanitation, but we'll try and get that sorted with some buildings. How are we doing over here? Education Liverpool not looking particularly great. No ideology either. Um, have we got a school over here? No. Was that the only school we had? Oh dear. Okay, that's probably not great, is it? <laughs> I thought maybe we might have some slightly slightly more schools going on, but okay. Uh, Northampton does need more power. Northampton needs a bit more power going on because we can't upgrade all the boats over there. How are we doing for power in Bristol? Uh, okay, how about we upgrade that and we upgrade that just to make sure that everything is fine there. But yeah, Bristol lacking education and lacking sanitation as well. So again, probably not great. Oh, and Kazan down here. Let's upgrade all of these boats over here, look to proper sort of trawler ships or whatever they are. And there we go. Still got loads of power, Kazan. You're absolutely fine. Right, news from abroad. Uh, Greece and Rome have ended the fighting. Bit of a shame for us, but never mind. Uh, right, here we go. Two turns until we have a culture power. Okay, that's a little bit of a nuisance, isn't it? I suppose we could potentially keep the Eureka until the next turn when we've done our research. We'll have to look at it when we get there. Okay, a chaotic event has happened. Rebellion. The vassals of the nation of Cambodia have rebelled against their rulers. Okay, so it spawns, what's that? A few groups of rebels. Um, they do appear to be quite strong. Or we could pay some money to make them go away. Do you know what? Let's pay them some money to make them go away because we do earn that in about four turns. So that wasn't that bad. Uh, okay, right, research is done. So let's get that done first. So yay for energy. And I think I can see on the map all of our kind of trash heaps, sort of they are, can now be upgraded to the recycling centres. So we'll go and do that in a second. That's going to be good. However, what do we get now? What do we go for? I mean, heavy machinery seems quite good. Aerial warfare, not so bothered. Logistics, though. That also seems quite good. More foreign import slots. That's really useful. Rocketry, though. Space centre. And then it means we can possibly go to space. I mean, I do we need to go to space? I mean, maybe it'll help us win. I don't know. And then on build, space race active mega project. I mean, it sounds amazing. Do you know what? Let's, ju let's just do that. Let's get rocketry on the go. A few people in the comments did say that we had a chance at that kind of thing. So, do you know, what? we'll give it a go. That'll be quite fun. Right, let's go and sort out these things. So where are they? So that just there, look. The trash heap is eight sanitation and the recycling center is 12 so it gives four more sanitation points which will help quite a bit over in bristol so and also it's only the regular improvement points so okay get that done please 125 percent. that is very nice uh that is liverpool's one 122 percent up to 142 percent northampton's one yeah sanitation looking bad for northampton now not quite so terrible and then over here in kazan Boop. There we go. 
Right, and we've still got 137 points left. Um, the only thing is we need to upgrade over here, which are boats linked to Northampton, but that's going to take power, and Northampton that would use up all of Northampton's remaining power. And we don't want to do that because we want to use that to build more computers over here. In fact, um, have we got the... Oh, we can domestically export things. We've only got one lot of computers at the moment. So we'll keep them for now. We're okay with those. But then when we start making more with the stuff we send over, when we have all of our train track things set up, yeah, we need to get all these sort of more, more domestic imports, uh, exports going on. But when that's done... Northampton can churn out many computers and then send them back to everybody. But uh, yeah, we might need a little bit more power in Northampton. But okay, right. So rocketry, do a Eureka for that seven down to five. Okay, the Eurekas are becoming slightly less sort of powerful. That's how they work. But that's still two turns knocked off, which is not too bad. Oh, there we go. Last turn we had chaos. This turn we have an innovation. Wonderful. Innovation, private schools. A free nation, such as the democracy of Cambodia, allows its citizens to speak their minds. This has had an effect on the nation's wealthy elite who have decided to create their own league of private institutions to teach the next generation. As a byproduct, these institutions generate new profits. Okay, so we've got private schools. We can either get a big pile of money, but that's not really worth the effort, or the school district generates a little bit of wealth. I mean, really, we only have the one school district. So 1,200 money right now would probably be better overall. But do you know what? We can get that in four turns. Let's allow them to have their private schools, you fancy pants. There we go. So we get a little bit more money out of it, which is fine. And Liverpool needs to build a thing. We have the investment bank over there. Um, what does that do? Bonus government XP. I mean, that is quite handy. We do like the government XP. Um, however, maybe... Oh, I thought the Grand Theatre would be culture, but it's not. It's art XP. Uh, foreign office? What does that do? Diplomacy XP from lots of people. Okay, do you know what? We'll do that. Let's get a foreign office set up in Liverpool, shall we? We can only have one of them. So Liverpool can have the national you know, foreign office of Cabordia. Yes, there you go, Liverpool. And then maybe after that, you can have a radio station because that will provide ideology, which you are currently lacking. There you go, Liverpool. You know what you're going to be building for a little while. Oh, actually, Liverpool, yes, whilst we're here, you're currently generating two computers. And we did have a plan, didn't we, to put a computer lab over there. But we didn't get round to it. So we got the tile. Look at that. Japan got that tile. So maybe it was quite a good job that we got in there. Because I think they might have had that one first. Okay, right, so now down here, we can build a computer lab to turn computers into computer simulations, which is very good. So currently 91.9, 97.5 research. Could we possibly, by the end of this video, get over 100 research every turn? That would be great. If we could do that, that would be quite the achievement. I've just realised I've completely forgotten about the scientific process power thing over here under the exploration powers. We got that ages ago, didn't we, from the scholars? And it means that we can generate a tiny bit of knowledge. I mean, 40 knowledge, that's not too bad at all. So why don't we do that right now? And that pushes us one turn closer to getting rocketry done which is not too shabby at all. And we can also now get another democratic thing sorted. I mean, let's get this sort of town hall domain sort of government power thing done to boost ideology efficiency. Let's get that done. So what does that do? Town hall. Uh, oh, just boost it for a little while. Okay. Do you know what? We could do that, say, over here in Northampton, just for the sake of it. So it's now on 200 Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Ideology in Northampton looking very healthy indeed. Okay, we've finished researching rocketry, which does seem a little bit strange, but okay, there we go. We've got that done. I don't feel like we should have rockets. I don't feel like we're quite ready for rockets yet. And now we can, in eight turns, move into the Age of Information, or we could go back and pick up a few things over here. I think maybe for now, let's just get into the New Age. Let's get into that, shall we, so we're not lagging behind. I mean, it will mean that we have you know, different needs and things, but I think, yes, it's quite important that we get that done right now. I don't want to be too far behind, really. So that would be quite good. Um, Warfare XP is ticking up. I have been spending this periodically. So who have we got left to upgrade? Um, over here. Ah, okay. Yep, you over there. You can be upgraded. Wonderful. Um, over here, 
the samurai cannot be upgraded, but you can as well. Oh, and oh, we haven't got enough anymore. We need another 25 to get these uh, sort of uh, two chappies upgraded to assault rifle. So proper actual kind of firepower, which would be amazing. But um, OK, we can't do anything about it right now. Never mind. But, you know, a few things have been upgraded. So we are possibly a little bit scarier to the other nations. Not too scary, but maybe a little teeny tiny bit scarier. OK, here we go. Kazan can export two more things to Northampton now. So Kazan must have its kind of train yard thing up and running. So I think what we do is one thing we send is the earth metals because that makes sense, because Northampton can use those, so that's fine. And then we have one more thing. I'm not entirely sure what we should send. Um, Northampton, can we have a quick check to see if you need anything in particular? I don't think you need anything. It's not like you're lacking anything. So, um, I mean, what are you lacking up here? Sanitation, possibly, which doesn't overly help, really, does it? Um, okay, no, I don't think we can send anything to with sanitation, really. Uh, what can we do with that last one then? So we've got one more. We could send, I don't know, a little bit of wine possibly. Tiny bit of wine maybe over there. I don't know if we sort of, if Kazan has like two lots of wine, it stacks up. Yeah, it does a little bit. So Kazan lost a bit of culture, but it's gone over to, you know, it's gone over to Northampton instead, which is okay. That's fine. So Kazan's sending that. Bristol, I don't think has its thing yet, which is a bit unfortunate. Bristol doesn't have its... um. Uh, it's uh, sort of whatever it is, a train yard thing set up. However, we are lacking paper here in Liverpool. Okay, maybe we do away with the analytics for now and we import some paper so Liverpool can sort out its kind of paper imbalance there. And then we're exporting some other stuff. So maybe that's also exporting to Northampton. So possibly, could we send some jewellery to Northampton? Is it worth doing that? Northampton, have a bit of jewellery. There you go. You enjoy that there. Um, and I don't know. Does it need to receive anything else particularly? Does it need anything else? We've got cotton there. We've got cotton. Have we got cotton? Oh yeah, just there. We're not doing anything with that at all. We could turn that into fabric and all sorts of things. Why have we not done that? Hang on a minute. Lock, lock the thing in. There we go. So it can turn into either, yeah, fabric or, uh, I don't know what that is, like sort of cotton sheets or, I don't know, like, I don't know what that is, wool or something. I don't know. But, um, okay. Right. So we've got one slot left. I think we'll leave that for now. But why haven't we done anything with that over here? And now we don't really have the chance because there isn't anywhere on the ground where we can put that at the minute, which is a bit of a nuisance. Botherations. Okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. That didn't entirely work out as planned. But Northampton should now have an additional load of rare earth metals, which means possibly on that spot there, we could build another computer lab. So we can go boop, we have more computers. Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted to build. I wanted to build a computer factory. Okay, no, we'll get that done. Uh, I built the wrong thing, everybody. Computer lab, computer factory. I mean, they're very samey. They've got computers in them. Uh, we'll get the computer factory set up as soon as possible. Maybe over here, possibly over there. A bit of a bit of a trek there to move them around, but we'll put it over there, I think, because the scrub line there isn't quite as good. Um, can we do it now? What do we need? Computer factory seventy six. How many of those do we get? Um, it's going to be uh, what's it? A couple of turns. Couple of turns until that's done. Northampton does have the option to build something right now, which is quite fun. Um, what do we get? Space Center. Do we just build the Space Center here? It gives exploration XP. That's quite nice. Bit of a power drain. We do need some sort of power thing over here for Northampton. We do need that as well. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's get the Space Center in because it's fun. Um, maybe over here. Can, can we build, like, wind... Ah, wind farm. Okay. So where can we put a wind farm? Um, can it go offshore? No. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Ah, botherations. Okay. I think, then, we put a wind farm over there for Northampton. Northampton's power is 106. So it might not be able to cope with another thing. So get that in. So Northampton's power now 139%, which is good. 
and then we'll save up our points over here to get a computer factory in. So we need 76 of those. Okay, right, fine. That seems like what we should do next then. Let's do it properly this time around and don't build the wrong thing. I think Japan just attacked our balloon. That's not on Japan. That's very rude. I mean, that's not doing anything to you at all. It's just up there having a lovely look around and no, they've attacked it, look, which is just outrageous. So what do they attack it with? Battle in the wilderness? Um, a man with a, an explorer attacked the balloon. Isn't the balloon in the sky? I thought the balloon was in the air. <laughs> I think the balloon was supposed to be up on high. Yeah, the balloon is... Is it deployed? I think the balloon is deployed. Yeah, because... Yeah, we can't recall it because it's up in the sky because it's got the greater visibility. So how a man with a sword attacked a balloon, I do not know. I'm not quite sure. Well done, man with a sword. That's very impressive. Good ingenuity. Or very long arms, possibly. Right, our XP is capped out at 400. So I think, yes, we get another community social fabric point. I can't remember what that does. Even more unrest reduction. Yeah, okay, so we'll take that, please. That's quite good. So it should be fairly stable and settled around here in Cabordia, which is good. Um, and then we can also get this thing here. We can get machine learning from our Silicon Valley improvements, plus one bonus knowledge from computers and from computer simulations. So currently 97.1 research. Come on game, get us over 100. It's 105.6. It's not just slightly past 100. It's absolutely flown by. Okay, that is magnificent. Um, and then we'll use our culture power. We'll do another Eureka to hopefully finish that research off. No, not quite. We've not quite got into the next stage just yet, but we will do, I think, if we do the scientific process thing again. 121 expiration points now to get that done. But if we do that... Oh, it's, it's ever so slightly short. It's ever so slightly short. Okay, right, we're not quite there, but next turn we will be. Okay, that will finish up, I think. So we'll go to the next turn. We shall move into a brand new exciting age. I mean, we weren't even in this age for that long, really. We've flown through this age, but there we go. So we'll go to the next one and at least sort of look like we're trying to catch up a bit. But, you know, over 100 science each turn now. That's not so bad. And here we go, the age of information. Uh, so yeah, final age is approaching and ooh, unlocks the ability to reveal all hidden territory tiles. Oh, that might be useful. And information needs. Okay, right, that's fine. So enter the age toward victory. Time is almost up. All of the ages you can move into from this age are victory ages. The first nation to move the game into a victory age determines this game's victory conditions for all nations. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I wonder who that could be. However, default victory conditions, such as all of the nations being defeated, always apply. Okay, so if we wanted to, which we're not going to because we would get slaughtered, but if we wanted to, we could just go on a rampage and go and kill everybody. And that, of course, would guarantee victory because we were the only people left. But there are other things. Okay. So we have other kind of um, things. I want to go and look now. Choose technology. So age of information. We could go into. Oh. Oh, there are some exciting things. Age of transcendence. Social fabric tracks completed. Age of archangels. Okay. Smart grid. Naught out of five. Okay. That looks like sky beams. That looks like dangerous sky beams. That looks like we transcend into some sort of super beings. Age of Departure is the normal one. So I imagine that's where we just sort of clear off. We just sort of fly off into the stars. And Age of a Singularity, that, yeah, I've seen that picture on the sort of the, you know, on the um, Steam Store page and such like. There's a giant kind of monster thing shooting people who are fighting it. So that's going to be a bad one. That's a crisis age. And then we've got, oh my goodness me, global networks, information, supply chain, microprocessors, renewable resources, automation, eco-engineering, and suburbs. Um, crikeys. Okay. I mean, what's going to be the most useful thing? Uh, media network provides information. I mean, that is going to be a thing that we are going to need to provide. That's the new thing for this age. So maybe a global network and then we can, what does that do? That is, oh, that's the internet backbone. That's the internet backbone. I mean, if we could get that done first, that'd be quite fancy. I don't think we will, but we'll go for that. We'll go for global networks, I think. And then 
We will wrap things up for now. Why has our research come back down a bit? Maybe when you go into a different age, there's more demands on things. I don't know. But there we go. So with that done, with us now properly in the age of information, we're in the same age as probably some of the people. I imagine Greece and Rome are in this age. So now we're there. Um, I mean, currently as well, the year 1898. And we're researching, like, global communication and stuff. That's quite good. Go us. Yeah, we're doing all right here in Cambodia. We might not be leading the world with many things, but I think we're doing okay with that little kind of little coastal land over here. So I think, yeah, for now, we will wrap things up. We'll come back next time. And I think, yeah, we'll try and do a space race thing. We'll also try and get that internet backbone thing in, which, yeah, is probably going to be quite helpful. But, yeah, we'll try and meet all the different kind of information needs. We'll try and sort that out. And then we just sort of keep doing what we've been doing. We just sort of keep pootling about and getting on with things and seeing how far away Greece can go from everybody because Greece is a big show off. But there we go. We'll wrap things up for now. Come back next time and see what happens. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in millennia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. Cunic, your time is now. And you have missed, Kunik. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Kunik. An Ashes caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> Are you going to land on my potatoes? <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked. 